Hello and welcome to how to program the law of cosines into your TI-83 or TI-84 calculator. To begin this program, hit the program key and arrow over to where it says new and then hit enter on create new. It's going to ask us to name this program and we're going to name it law cosine. Once that's done, hit enter. And on the new line, hit second zero and then the x to the negative one key and then where it says degree hit enter hit enter again and on the new line go hit the program key i dash o option three display in quotation marks a squared equals b squared plus c squared quotation mark, new line, display again, quotation mark, negative 2 b c cosine of theta, which is alpha 3, end parenthesis, quotation mark, new line, program, option 8, which is pause, new line, display quotation mark, one, colon, side, end quotation, new line, display, quotation mark, two, colon, angle, quotation mark, new line, program, under I dash O, option two, prompt, we're going to prompt X new line program option one if x equals two new line program option two then new line program option zero which is go to two new line program option three else new line display quotation which side question mark end quotation mark new line display quotation one opposite angle quotation mark New line, display, quotation mark, two colon other, quotation mark, new line, prompt, y, new line, if y equals one, new line, then, new line, prompt b comma c comma theta which is again alpha 3 new line square root of b squared plus c squared minus 2 b c cosine theta end parenthesis end parenthesis hit the stow arrow key which is just above the on switch so sto and then w new line go to theta new line else new line prompt a comma c comma theta new line c cosine of theta, end parenthesis, Stokey, W. New line, go to theta. New line, label, which is program option nine, so label two. New line, display, 
quotation mark, angle, colon, quotation mark, new line, display, quotation mark, sides equal, question mark, quotation, new line, prompt, A, comma, B, comma, C. New line, second cosine, which is arc cosine, parenthesis, B squared plus C squared minus A squared, end parenthesis, divided by, in parenthesis, 2 B C, end parenthesis, end parenthesis, Stokey W. New line, label theta. New line, W. New line. This is all the script that you will need to write for this program. And to get out of this program, hit second mode. Now that we're done writing this program, we can test it with a real triangle to see if it holds up. We're going to be using the triangle depicted below, which has sides 5, 12, and 13, and angles A and B as noted above. First, you're going to hit the program key, and then find the program law cosine. Hit enter. Hit enter one more time, and then enter once more. It's going to ask you for either solving the side or the angle. In this one, we're going to solve for an angle first. Hit enter, and it says angle, colon, and it's asking what the sides are. Now, we're going to find angle A, so make sure that angle A corresponds to the side opposite that angle. In this case, that's 5. Hit enter, asks us for B, 12. Hit enter. It asks us for C, that's 13. Hit enter one more time, and it gives us an angle of 22.61986495. All right, now let's see if it works on other things. Bring up the program again, hit enter, enter one more time, and then this time we're going to try and solve for a side. Hit one and enter. It asks us for which side we want to solve for. It's side opposite the angle we have, or one that is not opposite the angle that we have. In this case, let's use one that is not opposite the angle that we have, so hit 2. It's going to ask us for side A, and since we have 5 being opposite the angle 22 point something, we're going to use A being 5. So hit enter. It asks us for side C. That's 13. Hit enter. Now it asks us for the angle, and our angle is 22.61986495. Hit enter, and it comes up with 12. So now that we've tested the use of this program against a real triangle, and it's been shown to work. A point of note, the more uh, decimal places you use for each side and for each angle, the more accurate the answer you will get because when you round you start to get some error. This is how you use the law of cosines in your calculator and I hope this program helps you in the future. Thank you for watching.